Hey y'all, Grand Rising. So we're gonna get some messages from here to see what does the collective need to receive. Well, here we go. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this, y'all. All right. We have here, time to let go, fuck fear, intuition. Look what we have here, that project, that person, that idea is waiting. Spirit is getting straight to it, huh? Okay, so time to let go. It says here, time to move on from a situation. We have fuck fear. It will lie to your face. So maybe somebody's scared to let go of something. And Spirit is saying, you know, your intuition is already telling you that you need to let go. I'm just here to confirm it. You see how Spirit just right off the bat just jump right into this? Like, you needed this confirmation that it is time to let this shit go. Now, for some of y'all, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be a job that maybe is, is holding you back. Maybe you're overworking yourself. You don't need this job. And, and it's blocking you from being able to follow your passion you know, from starting a project. Uh, it could definitely be a person because with, with, with that person, I'm getting like, some of y'all, you know, you could be blocking your divine connection from coming together, you and your divine counterpart. Your divine counterpart is who God wants you to be with. We deal with a lot of karmic connections throughout our, our life, you know, and not every karmic is something that is like so you know, diabolical, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they're just, you know, connections that we need to learn from that help us grow, help us ascend. And those were just connections that you needed to release. You know, you need to let them go after you learn the lesson to be able to continue to manifest and then eventually get into your true divine union, which is not going to be able to be touched. You know, nobody could do no voodoo on the connection. It's going to be somebody that is like your other half. Like, your, you know, they, they want to call it twin flame. You could call it that. You could call it your kingdom spouse, whatever you want to call it. But it's the person that God wants you to be with. So that could be that, that your person is waiting, you know, and you're still entertaining or still holding on or being stuck in a situation with a karmic and it's time to let it go, all right? For whatever reason, Spirit is saying that it's time to let it go. Um, fuck fear, okay? Don't have any doubts and fears. You have to take a leap of faith and your intuition is already telling you this, okay? Listen to your intuition, trust your intuition, all right? So we have that there's something waiting here. It says here, get after that shit. The world has your back, okay? So Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Most High God, the universe, have your back okay you are being fully supported as you say fuck fear and take a leap of faith into the unknown but know that the unknown is going to be for your highest good all right let's see if we get something else from here tell me more holy spirit yeah i just saw detox yes yeah, so that you could be winning laugh where the fuck is your sense of humor you know laugh maybe you you, you know you, you you overthinking this you know again there's a fear here and spirit is saying laugh it off like listen this is the this is the guidance that you need to receive, you know. This is the clarity, you know. This, don't 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 be too hard on yourself. Now we have here, it's everyone else's fault. It's no, oh, it's not everyone. Oops, my bad. Maybe that's how you feel. You feel like it's everybody else's fault or something. And Spirit is saying, no, it's your fault right now. All right. You have to take accountability in you staying in a situation that doesn't serve you any longer. Now, there could be other factors here. It could be maybe there's a child involved, maybe there's you know, assets, you have things connected with each other. It's easier said than done, but that doesn't mean that you continue to delay this process. You know, you got shit to do. You know, you have a, a, a plan here. God has a plan for you. And Spirit is saying, like, you know, it's waiting. You know, the project, the person, the idea, like the new chapter that Spirit is like trying to align you with, it's waiting. So you have to take a, accountability for right now staying in the situation for whatever reason. It says you are a grown ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. All right, so you know you cannot blame this person that you're dealing with, saying that oh they got me stuck. No, you have your free will, and you have guidance, and you and you have confirmation. You know that you have to walk away. All right, so you cannot blame nobody else for still staying in the situation after getting so much confirmation. You might even dreaming about this. You know, like it's, it's, I just feel like you have a lot of confirmation, a lot of clarity. Your intuition is spot on. You on point with it. You know what you got to do. So now that you know better, you got to do better, and that's something that I live by ever since I had my awakening. You know, I just been always saying that to myself i know better so i gotta do better i cannot keep on entertaining situations that i know is not going to take me nowhere that i know is only holding me back from manifesting the connections that i deserve to manifest uh, friendships uh lovers you know what i'm saying like my divine counterpart you know like connections that were you know business connections these people right here that you gotta let go they block a lot it's not it's never just something simple as you know you know oh you know she's she's a karmic he's a karmic gotta let them go they toxic yeah it could be that but it goes much deeper on an energetic level they block your blessings so it's time to let it let it go okay there's a project there's a blessing there's a person that's a blessing there's an idea that is going to be a blessing and this person is blocking it 
all right so now we're gonna pull yeah look you cannot make this up we have abundance all right that's what they're blocking that's why our spirit is saying we're trying to give you this abundance this right here is your abundance it's gonna come in different forms okay and this person is is blocking you from seeing that and at this point you're also blocking yourself okay for some of y'all so take what resonates all right so let's pull some cards from here and we're gonna see what we got let's crack it right here adventure oh my goodness yo you cannot make this up indecision that's the energy that you're in right now fuck fear I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Intuition. You cannot make this up, y'all. Spirit is saying, again, you need to trust your intuition. You need to bust the move. You need to go on this adventure that God has for you. Okay? This is so crazy. Wow. Yeah. All right. So let's keep that out because that's definitely connected. All right. These years could be significant for somebody. Okay. Maybe you got with this person in one of these years. Maybe you realize it was time to let go. With this 9-9, nine, nine, like the cycle was done in 2022 and you just keep on holding on. It's not to let it go. For some of y'all, you was born in one of these years, okay? So let's uh, shuffle from here. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Oops, okay. Material harvest. Wow. It's time to release negativity. Somebody could be a, a Scorpio or you're dealing with one, but the Scorpio energy is all about transformation. It's all about death and rebirth. So Spirit is saying, you got to let go of this situation. You got to call an ending to this. Time to let it go so that you can have this rebirth, this new adventure, this new chapter in your life that you deserve to experience. All right. So now with heart chakra, Spirit is saying, don't close out your heart after you walk away from this person. That four is giving me like stability, you know, like stay in balance, stay stable, you know, keep your heart chakra pure, keep it open. Meaning don't be on some fuck niggas, they ain't shit, fuck bitches, they ain't shit. No, because God is trying to keep you, um, oh, you know, open. I don't know. I'm feeling like spirit is saying open. They're trying to keep you open, trying to keep your heart pure so that you can manifest this person that is waiting for you. Okay. So that's the trick here that like you don't want you don't want to get too caught up in the emotions, you know. You want to heal from that, all right? We have, we have all the cards. Let's pull it. Uh, you want to heal from that because that's part of the game, you know. Learning how to have balance. Learning when to let go. Being okay with it. Understanding the lesson. Looking for the silver lining in the situation, even if it was very toxic. There was a lesson and there was a blessing in that lesson because it helped you now to, to grow. And it's going to help you as you move forward. So... That's what spirit wants you to do here. They want you to understand that there was a lesson. They want you to be okay with the situation because you, you're looking at it now from a higher perspective. And they want you to get excited for this new adventure. You know, don't sit in the energy of being depressed. Of course, feel your feelings. That's also part of the experience. A lot of us, uh, you know, souls, we have to grow uh, through pain. We have to learn through pain. So that's also part of the, the human experience. But don't sit in that energy of depression and being stressed out because then you're going to block your own blessings okay so feel it and let it go release negativity go through the transformation heal all right uh heal by sp spending time alone do not go and now try to replace this person with someone else you know there's a there's a quote that says uh to get over somebody get under somebody else fuck out of here that's not that's not that's not legit okay don't do that spend time alone go out go to the beach if you can uh go out in nature you know, uh, work out, go sign up for a yoga class or something, you know, Zumba. Do people still do Zumba? You know, like go do something creative, uh, whatever. It doesn't have to be that, but you know, that's, that's going to help you to heal. It's going to help you to stay in balance. It's going to help you to clear your mind and it's going to help you to raise your vibration, which is all part of the recipe, uh, that we need to, to, to be able to manifest what we want. You know, you have to raise your vibration. You got to stay in balance. You got to, you know, there's a lot of shit that you got to do, you know, so you don't got time to be moping and to be all sad and shit, you know, feel it and let it go. Is what I felt the spirit is saying. All right. Keep this in balance. Okay because this is also and i was talking to my my girl the other day about this shout out to you girl uh and it comes out in a lot of personal readings that spirit is always telling all of us you know to keep the heart chakra in balance because this is how you get this abundance this abundance is going to come in many different forms and you know like in love and ideas money whatever but uh to, to manifest it you need to keep the heart chakra and i didn't understand i was i was doing a reading once and i was like you know i was like spirit what what does the heart chakra gotta do with this girl's business you know and it was that that you know she needed to keep her heart chakra in balance uh you know she needed to keep it pure she needed to keep it light 
you know like don't you cannot be sad and depressed and and anxious and all that that lowers your vibration so like what i just said right now to do is what you need to do to keep it in balance so that you could be able to manifest abundance and the abundance like i said is love is everything okay so let's see what we got here it says here, grow within your current situation, wise one. That's funny because this morning, right now, when I was recording, right before I recorded, there was um, uh, a crow, and it kept getting my attention. And I was like, you know what? I'm I'm not I'm not going crazy listening to y'all. I was mad at the crow because I've been trying to attract them. <laughs> I heard if you leave them stuff that they will come to you. Like, look, this one has like something in his mouth, but you know, whatever. They they don't come here, so you know. I got the blue jays and I got the uh, the cardinals, so I'm good with that. But uh, I heard one over there. There's a tree that it was one particular tree that has them, and it was just getting my attention. So that could be confirmation of this reading. You know, like whatever you're going through, you know, like it's just a learning situation. All right, we all gotta learn and grow through these situations. All right. Now, uh, most of the times when we see the crow, we think about a death as well, and death is again. Uh, it doesn't have to be a physical death. It's just a spiritual death, you know, that needs to happen in order for transformation to occur. Okay. So that could be, again, confirmation. Uh, the owl, you could be seeing owls. That's just, again, you know, your wisdom. Uh, you went through the situation. You already learned the lesson. And spirit is saying now it's time to let it go. All right. We have truth. You could have learned the truth about the situation. Seven could be significant for somebody. You could be born in July. You could be 25 years old. You could be born on the 25th. All right. But what I'm seeing here is that um, with this truth card, it's like spirit is confirming that, you know, what you are feeling, what you are uh, receiving in the form of many signs, confirmation, um, you know, these readings, maybe you even got a reading like, you know, like I just feel like whatever it is, dreams, whatever the truth is what you're feeling. OK, it's, com it's com confirmation with whatever your intuition is telling you. All right. Now we have here blame. Let's see. It says here denial. So I accept responsibility for my well-being. So that's kind of, again, like this one right here, like the blame, you know, spirit is saying it, it's yours in the sense that, you know, this is affecting your well-being. So once you know better, you do better. You know, if you feel stressed out, if you feel down, if you're not able to, to come up with ideas, creative ideas like you used to, you know, you feel blocked. It's because the energy that is around you and this person is most likely an energy vampire and they're draining your energy. So you have to take accountability, accept responsibility for your well-being. Know that it's your fault that, that now that you know better, you're not doing better. So you got to bust a move. All right. We have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. All right. So again, there's a fear here. All right. Maybe you wasn't denial for a while. You wasn't this indecision energy, you know, but now it's the saying, replace it with insight, with truth. And with awareness, your intuition. You see how this is all connecting? That's why I love using all these different decks. These are all different decks, by the way. It's fun to me to do this. You know, like seeing all these messages connect with each other. All right. So we have here success. This is what's going to get you to success. This is what's going to get you to where you deserve to be. Okay. So again, this abundance, this project, all of that. All right. So let's see. What else? Holy Spirit. Let's see what we get from here. Whoa. All right. So we have it's not a competition. So, you know, maybe this is like don't compare yourself to others. You know, everything's happening in divine timing and divine order. Everybody signs up for different contracts, different, you know, contracts in, 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 in our lifetime, you know, like of our path and how many lessons we are here to learn. And, you know, it may take longer, you know, than others, you know, it might be in different timing, you know, so just don't worry about nobody else. And, you know, maybe you needing to start over and you're comparing yourself to others. Don't do that. All right. Don't don't compare yourself to others. Everybody has their own unique path, their own unique mission. OK, so it's happening for you, not to you is basically letting you know that this is a blessing in disguise. All right. You needed to go through this to be able to be where you are now, where you are able now to manifest the success, this abundance, this, uh, you know, new love, whatever it is that you want. OK, yeah, look, bottom of the deck it's all for a reason. Absolutely. Absolutely. Spirit. Thank you so much. Look at that. More confirmation. Don't let fear get in your way. Yo, you see what I'm telling you? Wow. Look at this one. You don't need to be heartless. Just learn how to use your heart less. Yo, this is all connecting with everything that I just said. Wow. Look, and it's definitely connecting to somebody's love and heart chakra. It says it's your turn to receive good morning and good night text. Maybe it was something that simple that you wanted, you know, just communication, you know, feeling loved or feeling 
uh, you know, seeing, you know, maybe feeling your energy being reciprocated. Maybe you was always sexing this person and, you know, being very nurturing and caring and this person wasn't reciprocating your energy. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like this is everything that I just said. Spirit is saying you're going to get it and don't be heartless because you needed again, your heart to be in balance. You got to keep it pure, keep it happy all right learn the lesson and let it go and get excited for this new adventure because now you know that it's going to align you with everything that you've been waiting for okay you should be excited okay so let's pull more cards from here let's pull from here anything else holy spirit i just saw taking risks so yeah i'll definitely take a risk Full moon is about releasing. Look at that. Trust your God. It, 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 it all keeps going back to your intuition. That I'm just here to confirm what you already been feeling. That you know that you're not meant to be with this person. All right? That if there's a kid involved, there's a family situation going on here, there's money involved, there's assets, whatever it is, you got to just take a leap of faith. You cannot stay stuck in a situation that doesn't serve you. When you take a leap of faith and you have faith, God is going to help you. All right? But you cannot stay stuck. Okay? So trust your gut. You're not crazy. You, you, again, you know the truth. You saw the truth. You dreamed about the truth. I'm here to confirm the truth. All right? Full moon. It's time to release. Choose wisely is exactly what you need to do. You need to make a decision. And we have here number seven. And didn't I say go be by the beach? Go be by the water? You know, like just go cleanse. Go think about it. You know, go cleanse the energy of this person and whatever happened in the past. Get You know, get rid of it so that you could be open and ready to receive. Okay? Going back again to this heart chakra energy. Okay? So let's see. Let's keep that out because that's definitely connected. Past life. This could be uh, someone from your past life that uh, it was a karmic lesson in, in that past life. And maybe you didn't get it in that past life. And now in this life, it's like you are going to get it. You are going to release this person. You, you letting it go. Yep. There you go. Taking risks. Let's see. What's this? Psychic. Wow. I'm telling you, y'all. Your intuition your intuition is very strong right now because you see all the confirmation we keep getting with this intuition. You are a psychic. You don't have to be, you know, Miss Cleo or nothing like that to be a psychic. It's just that your intuition is on point. You, Your gut, okay? Your gut feeling is on point. You're not crazy. You, you peep game. You know what's up. I'm, I'm telling you, your dreams, it keeps coming up to me for some reason. Somebody, you get a lot of dreams. You could be a water sign with all this water energy. You are very in tune. Okay, so we have here, you need to trust that all will be well. Somebody could be a Virgo. Okay, trust that all will be well. Because that's exactly what Spirit is saying. Yeah, you got to move on. Let go of the past. All right. It says here, with the solar plexus chakra, I can. It's all about I can. It's about taking action. See that right there? And then we have here destiny. This is part of your destiny, but you need to close out the cycle with three, with this uh, community. All right? Friends, too, that are not any any good. Okay? Friends, family, lovers, let them go. All right? It's part of your destiny to let this shit go so that you could be able to move forward and be able to manifest your abundance, which is what this magic is. Okay? And look, three again. So releasing an old community to manifest a new community. You know, your your divinely guided community uh what do you call that your soul tribe okay the people that are really meant to be in your life it says the best revenge is dumb seeing that they didn't stop shit all right this karmic energy could be trying to hold you back okay they could be even doing magic on you to try to fuck with your crown chakra and wanting you to basically be indecisive so that you don't make a move so that you think that you're crazy and you don't trust your intuition but you need to trust your intuition all right because um it's guiding you in the right direction all right so the best revenge is going to be them seeing that they didn't stop shit all right that you moved on and you let go yeah that you stood in your power absolutely but some of y'all this could be happening in august you know like you are going to be walking away from this person for some of y'all you could be a leo uh for some of y'all again the eight is abundance you're getting this abundance once you walk away once you stand in your power okay and we have here patience i accept that everything happens in divine order absolutely i think i mentioned that earlier that everything happens in divine timing divine order and you know everything's happening for a reason all right so with patience you know Give yourself the patience, the time that you need to be able to cleanse your energy, okay? To, to cleanse from this, okay? Let's see what we got from here. Okay. Little by little things are coming together. The way wasn't punishment. It was preparation. That that uh, situation had a lesson that you needed to learn, okay? Absolutely. Going back to, again, this 
past life situation. It was something you needed to learn. And in, the, in this lifetime, you, you got the lesson and you took action, which is what you were supposed to do. All right. It was already part of your destiny. It's already written. You just had to, you know, learn the lesson and do what you got to do. So now little by little things are going to start to come together. Spirit is telling you bottom of the deck, uh, walk by faith, not by sight. Absolutely. All right. They're giving you confirmation that, uh, you are walking into the unknown, but it's not really the unknown with these readings. This is why these readings are good for the collective, you know, because we are able to, to help others see what's, you know, on the other side, you know, and it helps you to take a leap of faith. Okay, so you're walking by faith, not by sight, but you, you see right here that this is confirmation that you're not walking into, you know, into the darkness and you don't know what's going on. Your blessings is on the other side of fear. Okay, so the way wasn't punishment, it was preparation. It's telling me that everything that you went through, it was a lesson. You needed to go through that. It was preparation. All right, it's, it's needed. We all got to go through that. Yeah, look, you see what I'm saying? Confirmation, y'all. You passed the test. It was all preparation. You got an A plus. Okay, you passed the test. It says here, I am divinely guided and protected. Okay, you absolutely are. Tell me more. Yeah, it says I have support. You have support. Okay, it says here, look, we have mistakes are merely stepping stones to my ultimate success. And we saw success that, that came out right here. These are, these mistakes, all right, these mistakes are lessons that we need to go through in order to get us to the success, okay? To get us to this level that we deserve to be in, all right? Look at this. You grow through your trials, confirmation. And so we're just saying that whatever's meant for you, nobody can take it or ruin it, all right? Nobody could take it with no dusty-ass magic. It's already in your destiny. It's already part of, you know, your contract that you was meant to have all of this. But you need to, like everybody else, go through the trials and tribulations. Go through the lessons because it's preparation. You see what I'm saying? So it was necessary. You needed to go through that. You needed to go through the heartbreak. You needed to go through the struggle. But it's keeping you now in alignment with these blessings that you deserve. So it was all preparation. It was all needed. All right? You needed to be this person, you know, the wise one, all right? You could be uh, a teacher, a spiritual teacher, all right? And you could be guiding others with the with the wisdom that you need to go through, that you need to experience to be, uh, to be able to guide others. You cannot really guide others and not already go through it, you know? So a lot of us who are here to guide, we already went through this or we're going through it and we, and we have to experience it to be able to guide, you know, the other, maybe the younger generations or whatever. Like we, we need to be able to experience that and go through it so that we can know what the fuck we're talking about. So, you know, it was needed. And if it's not to be guiding others, like on a, on a platform, it could be your own children, your own family, you know, yourself, you know, coworkers, people that you meet, because, you know, that's, a, that's another way that you could be a light worker that God puts you in, in all these different places so that you can meet people even for some reason, I don't know, like I'm, I'm seeing, I'm hearing Target, <laughs> you know, like Target, okay, like Target, random ass spots, you know, like you meet somebody and you, um, you know, you talk to them and you give them some type of wisdom, you give them advice, you know, like it's simple things like that, okay, so you need to experience these things, everybody does, it's part of us incarnating in this realm, okay, like this, this, this earth is ghetto, is a, is a big old ghetto school, and we're here to learn lessons, okay, so that's why this lesson and preparation stuff keeps coming out, but basically spirit is saying here, you know, don't have any more indecision, all right, don't delay your blessings any longer, it's time to take the leap of faith, learn what you needed to learn, go be by the water, go get out in nature, go to the gym, go exercise in your house if you want, you know, whatever you want to do, but stay healthy, stay in alignment, all right, keep your vibration high, go through the healing process, let it go, look at it from a higher perspective, trust that everything happened for a reason, and trust that everything that's coming in now is for your highest good, all right, because you're now on a higher level, you passed the spiritual test, okay, we see it right here, you passed the spiritual test, now you're on a higher level, now you're attracting better things on the vibration that you're on, which is why we got to keep on raising our vibration, keep on leveling up, okay, so that's what I got here, y'all, I hope I was able to bring clarity and confirmation, um, and if you want to book a personal reading, you already know, just hit me up, all right, peace.